Hey, this is a meat and potato sushi production star myself, the Water Alchemist, and today's topic for the occult family is gems from the dark side. Now, when we think of the dark side, we often put it towards the worst case scenario and what things can happen to human beings, and we all know that that comes from Abrahamic religion as well as societal indoctrination. So I want to share some things with the family. And of course, I know the Trogs are here, as well as the Fluffy Bunnies. So, let's get into it, and I have some surprises. So, when we think of history, we always think about winners and losers. And sometimes, we all know that many of the losers always get a bad rap. That pertains to race, ethnic group, as well as gender. But I want to read something for the family. And of course, Fluffy Bunnies, I'm going to pick on you for a minute because you're really just really Christians who done picked up some tips and tricks. So I want to read this from this book and I'm going to give it to the family because it's a very good book and it will help you. This is on page 185. Listen up. Demons are often negatively talked about in religion, spirituality, occultism, literature, mythology, and folklore, as well as in comics, video games, movies, and television series. However, demons didn't always carry negative or evil connotations. They were originally divine spirits in some traditions of the mystery and therefore of God. See, Isaiah. Medieval Christianity, in an attempt to reduce and obliterate all darkness, made demons evil and stripped them of divinity, as with evil and darkness. Demons had a protective role and played a part in reminding us of the edges of life. How does the concept of demons without their original divinity affect our ability to open to darkness. When we run from demons, in what way are we running from our hidden sense of knowing evil and the existence of demons within ourselves? So, in other words, that when you're doing occultism or sorcery and you formulate a relationship with God's goddesses, as well as demons, not only will they reveal certain truths to you, but through your occult DNA, you will find out, just like you have ancestors that you are genetically linked to, you're also linked to celestial beings as well as infernal beings, or even the draconian slash dragon line. So in other words, you are family. Yeah, that's right, bunnies. That's how it works. Oh, and what's the name of this book? Ah, here it is, family. Opening to Darkness. With the subtitle, Eight Gateways for Being with the Absence of Light in Unsettling Times by Zinju Earthling Manuel who has a PhD and she is a native of California, but now currently resides in New Mexico. That's right. Deal with it. And one thing I also want to say is that the more sincere you are, you're going to move up. Now, when people think of the Calippo, they think about not only the darkness, but also what will happen when you're going through the shells and its various branches. And one thing about any demon or any just any spiritual being in particular, I'm going to take, for example, Lilith. Now, we know that Lilith deals with sexuality as well as being the mother or matriarch of vampires. But Lilith, like any other spirit, loves when a person wants to seek truth and gnosis. So when you're seeking gnosis, 
You take two steps towards her, she's going to take four towards you. And it's not just her. It can be Anubis. It can be Athena. It can be Zeus, Odin, etc. And I remember when I was talking ages ago about things of this nature, who really wanted to maul me was the African-centered community. I didn't know nothing about Egyptian ancestors, although Anubis is my patron god from that pantheon. So the thing is, is that even the African-centered community that deals with Kemet, primarily, that's how they felt about me. Now, also this. When you find out that you have been adopted basically into their line, this is what a lot of spirits and demons are going to do. Let's say that you get into a magical battle or contest. What they're going to do is if you were not the aggressor, they will not only protect you, but they will give you a heads up. So in order to go into the light, which the light is a trick from the Archons and the Demiurge, you will be safe if you know how to navigate through the darkness. So there you have it. So with that, that is your meat and potato sorcery for the day. I'm the Water Alchemist. You're water, my friends. Peace.